I had a, another wild, wild week, and my kitchen has been absolutely and utterly neglected. I have done dishes, and that's about it. I did manage to uh, get my husband to get his leaves dried, so that's finally done, but they're still not out of the kitchen. It's been a week, and they are still in my kitchen. This mess is driving me nuts. I have to get this done. So today's video is kitchen deep clean. Everything's coming off these counters. It's going to be a lot. Oh yeah, colored my hair. What do y'all think? I also cut it myself because I don't have time to go to a salon. All right, let's clean this kitchen. Try to get everything off of this island first. This is where the kids have been hanging out. We've got backpacks, we've got snacks that need to be pulled out, put back into the pantry. Oh yeah, my son uh, broke his arm yesterday. So I had excellent intentions of getting so much done. I got one load of laundry folded out of the dryer and one load of laundry washed before it happened. And then the rest of the day was spent at the hospital and then we had to go by the store to get him a prize for being such a strong boy. He did not cry much. He really held it together. So, yeah, he got his prize. I am going through his backpack now. And he's got busted slime all over one of his most favorite stuffies. So, I'm going to have to deal with that, too. But, ugh. I'll make a separate video on that because I'm sure plenty of moms need to know how to deal with that. I've got actually a pile of things that have been slimed that need to be dealt with. So I'm just going to put this right back in here and set that aside for later. Oh, all right. That's trash. This one's okay. It can go in the playroom. Let's make a pile. Let's put this up before it gets more slime on other things. All right, back to making my pile. Oh, my daughter and all of the neighborhood kids got on a kick of making balloon creature things a few days ago. So there's balloons all over the house. There's trash. Oh, my son got Tic Tacs yesterday and I see he has already eaten all of them. These scissors are sticky with ice pops. That needs to be washed. More trash, 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 trash. Lots of snacks, some laundry. Oh, I gotta wash towels today. Good reminder for myself. <laughs> All right, let's get these toys to the playroom. Oh, this guy does have a little bit of slime on his tail, so let's keep him out. My daughter's new squishies. Let's see here. <laughs> All right, last toy. Let's go put this up. Let's get the rest of this stuff off of here. My daughter has been leaving hair ties all over the house. I got more balloons. This stuff needs to be put up. Hair ties, this is our upstairs bag, so I'll just stick those in there. Balloons are going up in this cabinet where they're supposed to be. We've got friends in and out of the house today from the neighborhood. So that's why there are so many drink cups around. We've got a lot of food that needs to be put in the pantry. going to move stuff off of this center island so that I can clean it. I just move things from one side to the other until all the surfaces are clean and then they can go back to where they belong. Granted, some of these things don't even belong in here, but 
I don't want to walk around the whole house just to clean the kitchen. So they're going to make it into a pile, and the pile will eventually be put up. This is our snack bag for during the week. It just stays on this chair so it doesn't get lost. Last thing I need is snack bag being lost when I'm rushing around to get out of the house. Our feeding pole, we're going to move into the living room so it's not in my way. My daughter's iPad stuff. I had been set up for them, but they just refused to use them, so kind of gave up. Let me tell y'all about the week that I have had. Normally, I work Monday through Friday until 1 o'clock. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, I take my kids out to their therapy appointments, speech, OT, PT, that kind of stuff. And normally that leaves me Monday, Wednesday, Friday to do filming, editing, anything like that. Just random fun stuff. But all this week, I have had something going on. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and Tuesday, and Thursday, as usual. And I have not had any time to film or edit. Yesterday, Saturday, you know, like I said earlier, my son broke his arm. He was actually at a friend's house when it happened. And, of course, the friend's mom brought him home and, you know, all of that stuff. But I have not had any time to do my filming or my editing or any fun stuff. It's been work, 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 work. Or sitting in appointments or <laughs> meetings or all of the things that no one wants to do. I know someone commented on my last uh, weekend catch-up video that I needed a vacation. And I just had to laugh at that. Like, literally snickered out loud <laughs> at the thought of taking a vacation. Clearly, this person that commented to take a vacation is not <laughs> the default parent or the organizing adult. Because no adult that has to plan the vacation and pack everybody's clothes and plan out the food for the week or any of that wants to take a vacation. My husband always wants to, let's go away for a week. Okay, well, you handle that. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Not going to happen. I don't want to do it. It's more work to leave the house. At least here, I don't have to pack and unpack like... Everything I need is here, <laughs> and I know where it is. Like, when you go on vacation, you got to, like, make extra shopping trips to get everything for the vacation, because Lord knows we ain't got money to go out and eat every night or three times a day on a vacation. And we definitely cannot be staying in some hotel that actually has food that I could eat, because... I can't have gluten. My daughter can't have dairy. We got to have our own meals. It's, oh, it gets me going. Gets me going. So, no, definitely not taking a vacation. That's too much work. But you still got to clean the house before you go. And then when you got as many pets as we do, you got to clean it when you get back, too, because cats make just as much mess as kids. And you can't have it dirty when you leave because you got to have a pet seater come in. Pet seater. Pet sitter come in. And you can't have your house dirty when that happens. And you got to plan to have enough food and stuff for the pets, too. So, no. No vacations. No thank you. All right. This counter is clean. I knock it all on the floor, and then I vacuum when I'm done. That's the easiest way to clean. Makes me very happy. It's quite satisfying to just vacuum it all up when you're done. These chairs are always dusty. We've been able to open the windows and doors a bit more lately, so all that dust is blowing in. And black chairs, black anything, most of our furniture is black, always looks dusty. Oh, I threw some 
polls up in the community tab. If y'all haven't voted on them, go vote. They'll be up for a while. This video probably won't be up for a week. So I definitely want to leave it up for a few weeks and get people's opinions on video types and length of video. I think it'll be useful and creating content that people actually want to see. Because I went on a, a plant binge, but those videos have got way less views than my cleaning videos. So I think y'all prefer cleaning, but I don't know. Maybe the plant people haven't found me. Anyway, go give me your opinions on those. Let's get the fruit back on here. Yes, the bananas are rotten. They're perfect for banana bread. My last banana bread video got corrupted, so I will probably try to make another one of those. I know y'all can see how messy that living room is, but just ignore it. I'll get in there eventually. That room's like half the size of this kitchen. It's way easier to clean. Let's get all these leaves out of my kitchen finally. And this is what the dehydrator is primarily used for, so I'm not going to worry about washing it. It's just going to go right back under the counter. It's not going to be an issue. I normally, if I'm going to use it for a food process, I will wash it anyways, just because I am wigged out by germs. And if I'm drying something, it's probably because I want to preserve it. And I, I'm not going to risk having any kind of bacteria or anything in there. So it would be freshly washed anyways. I think we've got just enough leaves. <laughs> Ugh, this thing is filthy. It did not look like this before he used it. Well, I'll wipe that part down because I don't want it to stain. That's the main motor part. All right, leaves finally done. Isopods will be happy to have their leaves back. All right, these drying trays are going to, oh, not in there. And the gonna put, put these under the cabinet all right and then the base motor part will have to come over here to be wiped down oh no oh i am glad that was an empty cup all right so we i made a pizza for the kids last night so that needs to be cleaned of course stoneware is a hand wash item This can go right back under here with the other ones. Hands need to be washed. Oh, look, another leaf. Oh, God, they're heavy. All right, those will get washed when I get to the dishes part. That's not too terrible, but we're here. Let's wash it. All right. Deep clean means everything has to come off the counter. Salt needs to be refilled. I saw a hack kind of thing of putting some rice grains in your salt so it doesn't compact. Figure we'll try it. Why not? Everything is so greasy. When my husband cooks, he just like turns the pans all the way up on high like with bacon grease oil whatever and it just goes all over the kitchen like it makes me not want to have anything on the side of the kitchen because everything is oily and gross and i don't know how to deal with it because even the degreasers that i have tried don't take it off oh. y'all please leave me a, a comment with what you use to get grease off of everything that's like not a pot or a hand. Plastic mainly is what refuses to let go of the grease. Like the old air fryer was encased in grease. Grease has made it onto the top of my coffee maker here. And so it's always just encrusted in um, 
fuzzies and lint and dust. I can't get it off. I wipe it off and it's like sticky and goopy and a spray degreaser. It does not come off. And I can't use harsh chemicals because of all of our animals. Like I can't use the oven cleaner stuff. Don't know if it would work anyways, but can't use that. All right, that's as far as I'm going to take it right now. I'm going to spray down the counter and wipe it up. All right, knock it all on the floor. This is why you start at the highest point and work your way down. Make your life easier. My husband would always start on the floors and then he would inevitably knock something in the floor when he was trying to like rig it into his hand and stuff. Get all frustrated. You just gotta make things as easy as possible. Sometimes I don't know if I'm like a super genius or if I'm just like that utterly lazy that I have found the easiest way possible to do things. I also have all this gunk stuck um, between the countertops and the stove. And I can't get it out because I can't pull my stove out. I've tried, my husband's tried, it won't come out. And since the stove is higher than the countertops and one side's higher than the other, yay 90s house, uh, I can't put the little protector thingies there that stop the food from going down. I had those in our other house and they didn't work in this one. I just throw them out because they were doing nothing except for getting in the way. I would love to clean beside, behind, under the stove, but I can't get it out. And I'm too scared to break anything to really yank it. Well, I did try yanking it with all of my might, but it didn't make a difference. And my husband tried the best that he could without breaking things. So I don't know. I always thought ovens came out like refrigerators, but I guess not. It wasn't really an issue before because I had stopper things to keep it from going under there. I have some cooktop polish stuff that I need to use, but normally by the time I finish doing everything else, I don't want to deal with it. So it's not going to get used, I'm sure, today either, but maybe, maybe. My husband's going to be all offended because I cleaned the, the stainless steel and didn't use the stainless steel cleaner. I just don't care to polish it. If it's clean, I'm happy. There's so much lint everywhere. Out drop my rag. Oh, someone is at my door, but it's a neighborhood kid. It was some of the neighborhood kids looking for my son. I swear every day I meet some, some new kids. Granted, you know, where we live, people are always coming and going. Oh, 
I need to clean this before I start piling things back on it. All right, let's just do it like this. We are trying to make things as simple as possible today. Oh, let's not throw it in the floor though. Trying to rearrange things to get this giant air fryer in. It had to be six inches at least from the stove. And as I was thinking about it, like I was baking something at the time and I went and felt the countertop around the stove and I was like, oh, wow, yeah, that is hot. Granted, uh, I don't know, maybe it would be an issue with the air fryer. This one doesn't get as hot as the other one. It's definitely better quality. It has vents all the way around, so I kind of freaked out. Like, oh no, like how do I not cover the vents? But the top ones suck in air, and then the ones on the back blow out air. So it was easier to figure that out. Kind of want to put things back on this side. And have that side open. I got very spoiled when that side of the counter was open because I could just, you know, pull stuff out of the fridge and like make a sandwich and it wasn't like I didn't have to drag it all to the other side of the kitchen. I know that's me being lazy. 100% understand. <laughs> Don't want to cover up this outlet over here, though. Uh, I feel like a lot of this stuff could just not be over here, but I know my the rest of my family would disagree. I'm oh, going to consolidate these toothpicks. I'm going to leave one in these little containers and then I'm going to put this in the cabinet. I put these dried peppers in the cabinet too. Yes, I just uh, piled them in there. We'll deal with that another day. I have managed to keep the main part of the pantry organized. It's been two, no, it's been more than two weeks. Probably almost a month at this point, but it's still clean. I am proud of myself for keeping it clean. Let's see. I don't think anyone uses the pepper very often. Let's just move these things around a bit. Get it all in here. There we go. Oh, it's greasy. The popcorn oil does not help the situation. I need to clean up this salt shaker and refill that, but. I will do that when I need the salt. Oh, I've made a mess over here. I cleaned this little section, but now I've made more mess. Okay. There we go. I'm good with that. I hate the knife block. I probably went on a rant last time I did a kitchen deep clean, but I hate this with an extreme passion. So extremely much. I don't know why we can't just put the knives in the silverware drawer with the other knives. But husband demands knife block, so knife block has to stay. I'm going to put the sandwich maker over here, too, because there's an outlet here. And I feel like that would be pretty simple to grab all your stuff out of the pantry and the fridge and cook you up a sandwich. Um, egg thing needs to be washed. Hmm, the popcorn thing. I don't know where to put it. Don't want to put it there because it's too far out on the counter. I don't want to put it over there because I moved all the popcorn stuff over here. Let's see if I can make it fit. No, I know no one will ever put that back except for me, but it has a home. It won't stay in that home, but whoop, it has a home. That'll work. There we go. And then if I, oh, let's turn this. I know y'all can't see what I'm doing because it's back here in this little cubby, but I'm happy with that now. 
Oh, my daughter's got science project things over here. Not really science projects, but you know how kids like to mix things up. Yeah, she did that quite a while ago when her and her friend had a sleepover. And she made like food for her baby. I mean, it's pretty neat how she did it. But I'm kind of tired of seeing them. And I'm going to dump it out because I feel like it's been here long enough. But she took her markers and she colored paper towel. And then she has like this baby doll blender thing. And she drops the paper towels in there with water and <laughs> blends it up and then makes colored water. It's very creative on her part. The ants got into our honey. So we had to move it into a bowl. My kids and their friends came in and they're in the playroom right off the kitchen here. So it's going to be loud. I'm going to just clean and then put some music to it. So enjoy the music. I cannot even tell you how many times I have stopped and restarted and paused this video with the kids in and out. And every time I turn around, somebody needs something. 
And I don't even know if I'm coming or going or what I'm doing at this point. Of course, there's another child needing something. I am absolutely in the need of coffee. All the dishes that are dishwasherable are in here now. Hair stuff. Oh, it needs to go upstairs, but I don't want to walk all the way over there right now. I'm gonna make a coffee. Y'all want to see how I make my coffee? Had to try my best to not get all the children in the video because they're all not outside on the porch right now. So let's make a coffee. Got to dump out the grounds because I never remember to do that after I make a coffee. I am currently drinking the Starbucks Fall Blend. The Fall Blend and Spring Blend are my favorites. I have this lovely scooper thing that came with my coffee maker. I use a big one. <laughs> Don't know. I think it's two tablespoons. I'm not sure. Not in the cup. I do that at least twice a week. Dump my coffee grounds in my cup or just don't use coffee grounds at all. And then I make hot sugar water. Full sugar. I gotta have sugar. I do three scoops. I don't know what the scoop is. Might be a tablespoon, might be a teaspoon, might be half a tablespoon. I do not know. But I am tired. And I'm overheating, so this is going to be an iced coffee. But it's hot. We had a lovely cold front yesterday that was supposed to be here for like four days. And it's hot again today. Yesterday I had the windows open. It was nice and cool and breezy. But I didn't really get to enjoy the day because I spent a good chunk of it sitting at the hospital. With the kiddo's broken arm. Ugh. These are all hand washed. Just gonna rinse out the sink a little bit. I'm not gonna like fill up the sink and do a wash like that. Because I don't like to have my cast iron soaking. And this pizza stone doesn't really need a deep washing anyway. That little gadget is from Grove. I used to order like all of my cleaning supplies through them back when, you know, pandemic years of couldn't get out and do anything and being immune compromised. It definitely wasn't about to go out, but anyways, got that thing. And it is fantastic. You put oh, let's see. You put soap and a little bit of water in there, and you got your little brush. I get the replacement brushes from Walmart. They're just a bamboo brush. They are pretty easy to find, pretty cheap. Sounds like the kids are coming back through. Kids come back through with another set of friends to go play in the playroom. So, I'm probably going to have to call it at some point and just give up on making this video. Yet again, stop and restart. I can't, I can't film when anyone else is home and there's like no time when I'm home alone. And kids aren't playing outside as much lately because it's either too hot or it's raining. Oh, my coffee pot's out of water. Let's refill it. I don't know if it matters what temperature water you put in there, but I like to put cold water in. And this is why it's beside the sink. The reservoir you can pull out and fill it up and put it back, but this is easier.
All right, there's one pan clean. I'm going to set them on the stove so I can bake them. I do apologize for all the screaming children in the background. It's either this or just don't make videos, and I want to make videos, so I've got to find a way to make it work. Hopefully my mic picks me up more than the kids. I really don't know. This is another Grove kind. They Grove and Target combined, so you can get them at Target now, but it's the cast iron brush has stiffer brushes than the bamboo brush and then it has the scraper on it so I don't have to use the separate scrapers. And it's dirty. I just pop it in the dishwasher when it gets like that. It gets cleaned up. Oh my coffee's done. I made quite a mess though because I wasn't paying attention when it was going and my cup was not directly under it. So it made a mess. Didn't lose too terribly much though. Next step. Again, ignore the living room. It'll get cleaned this evening. I normally just pick it up before we go to bed and then we vacuum the whole house before we go to bed too. And the kids were in and out of the house this week and the back porch needs to be pressure washed. It's all yucky from all the moisture and so we got little black feet prints all over so i need to clean carpets too i use soy milk i use like the original i don't like the vanilla if i want flavor in my coffee i will buy a flavored coffee or put syrup in it these kids are getting wild oh buddy and then my son just interrupted, whoop, interrupted me filming to ask if he could have another sleepover. Absolutely not. No sorry. All right, these kids are out of control right now. I'm gonna have to take a break for my own sanity and I'm overheated. I'm gonna sit down. I'm gonna enjoy this coffee. I probably won't finish this coffee before I get back up. I'm almost done with the kitchen. I'm so close to being done with the kitchen. And I was going to smoke a pork loin today for dinner, but it's raining and I don't want to go outside in that. So now I have to figure out dinner situation too. I have given up on waiting for the children to go back to their own houses or be quiet. We have, uh, a few of them did go home, but there's still a lot here. And I've got to get this kitchen done. So y'all are going to have to listen to kids in the background and hopefully they are not loud and obnoxious. All right. I have to finish cleaning this counter and I sprayed for ants over here. So the bottom of this box is kind of yucky. So I'm debating on if I want to switch it out for a more permanent bin because I've been using that cardboard box for a while and it's working out over here. So I think I can switch it to a more permanent bin. I just have to go through my stash of bins and see if I have any that will work. I need to clean back there, but I don't feel like climbing up there today, so it's just not going to happen. Just ignore all of that. <laughs> I'm going to just do this side and that's whatever. Those are quarantine plants back there, by the way. They have mealy bugs. They're doing better. The spiral cactus needs a chop and prop at this point, though. But it uh, doesn't seem to be multiplying the mealies anymore. They're kind of stabilized. There are still some on there. It needs a few more treatments, but it's coming along slowly but surely. All right, let me take a second and go through my bins and find one for the formula. I found a bin to use for the formula, but it needs to be wiped out need to wash those flower pots so I can put them away, but they can wait. It's not an urgent thing. Let's just put these things back and we'll work our way down. This bottle warmer likes to leak, so I have to keep a rag under it just in case. All right, let's get these. Probably can't fit as many, but that's okay. I 
picked this bin because it was squared off and all of my other ones were rounded. Ooh, that thunder and scared me. Yeah, these are working nicely in here. Looky there. Perfect. All right, this bit, yeah, it's gross. It just needs to go. Continuing on down the countertop here. I'm not going to worry about moving all of this stuff off and then putting it back because no one really uses this space. I think this is my mother-in-law's bottle from last time she was here. So I need to just clean that and put it up. This needs to be cleaned away and I will put this in here because I am not cleaning that toaster oven today. Oops. There's little ant traps back there, but they aren't going to hurt anything. That wasn't really bad anyways. I don't think we've used this counter much other than using the toaster oven. Yeah. Just gonna wipe down the side here and I'm gonna call that done for counters. Then I just need to vacuum. I was cleaning up the floor getting ready to vacuum and I saw the kids then sitting down there and I don't know the last time the kids used them so I'm gonna empty them out and put them back into my organizing stash. Hopefully the kids stay out of this kitchen. All of their friends finally went home but now they're being extra moody and upset because their friends aren't here and I won't let them go play in the rain because my son can't get his splint wet. So I've got to get the kitchen vacuumed. And this is the only thing I've accomplished today. I had so many things on my list, but I am trying to be consistent and record what I do so that I can make content. But I can't when there's like a bazillion kids in this house and no one will be quiet or my husband's home hacking over there in the corner. And I'm just extremely frustrated because I feel like I've hit a wall where I can only create when no one's home. So I've got to figure out what to do. Voiceover does not work for me because it just like I can't remember what I was doing in the moment to like talk about stuff.